is how it looks like right now up in Baltimore, Maryland. There is basically no traffic. And those who try to move in the traffic, guess what? They got stuck. Looking for help. When you know you're not supposed to be out here, you know, they all want help now. And I'm willing to help. And I tried. But right now, nobody's supposed to be out here. Unless you are a public um, government official basically helping those that are stuck since this, this is like an emergency. The only people that should be out here is the people plowing, you know what I mean, taking the snow out. And we don't even see that, which is a shame, you know, because there are always some dumb people, like that one right there that's stuck over there. They want to travel regardless. They want to make money. You know, it doesn't make sense. If people want to come out and go to work today when you're going to get stuck on the damn snow. Unless you snow shoveling and making money like that, it don't make sense for you to try to make money and go to work and this and that just because your boss tells you to do it or because you need the extra money. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do and just fall the hell back. What's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? So this is the thing I see, you know, about people. And um, how enslaved they are, you know, and when it comes to money, they will leave their families at home. They will take their kids in the snow in the car when they don't even have to. Like somebody that I know, they did that. And then it's on the phone and talking about we are going to crash if I don't get off the phone. You stupid ass. You should have stood yourself at home. You should have stood home. I can't even speak right now. My, my damn mouth is so numb right now. And got this, damn, damn, got this little damn cold. And even me. I'm just like a block away from Rite Aid. So I went and got some extra water. But I would not even came out. If I didn't feel like I just wanted to have extra food and water in my in, in my apartment but this is another sign why to prepare why you must prep in situations like this you know having food medical supplies is very important you know and and, and people just don't get it you know i do have food medical supplies but it's never too late. If you had a chance, like I did, a block away, to go to the right there and see if it was open. Because I didn't even know if it was open. There's a guy there that walked five miles to get to right there. He walked five miles. The route that I am, this is where the light rail runs through. And as you see, you can't even see the tracks of the light rail. You know. Further down is downtown and um, Oriole Station, Candom Yards, you know, but like you see, you can't see. Look at the cars, you know. If you ain't one of these persons, you know, they got snow, flour. Why are you out here? It don't make sense, you know. But yeah, it's always good to prepare because you never know what's gonna hit. And you call people like me conspiracy theorists, you know, that was basically a word that the CIA came out with to try to debunk the truth. But look at it. You know, I got, got water right here, extra water. I got food. Just got me some popcorn. You know, I just wanted to come out, get some air. I love the snow. I wish I had like a... Uh, no car or something, you know, but it is what it is. It used to be a time where we used to come out in the snow and play. These kids nowadays, they will stay home and play video games. 
feed their minds with garbage. I'm probably just talking too much right now. Anyway, um, y'all be safe wherever y'all at. And hope this was a lesson to a lot of y'all. Because if it's not snow, it could be a storm. It could be floods. It could be an earthquake. You know. And it could be the government. So prepare.